Hello world, welcome to the channel. I'm SourceCoot and today I want to show you how you can export your Unity model to WebVR. There are multiple ways of doing that. For example, there is an extension made by Mozilla, but this is about two years old. So what I want to show you today is how you can export your WebVR game through Babylon.js and have that running in no time. So let's get over to Unity and I'll show you how you can do that. I've opened Unity with an empty project and the first thing we need to do is import the Unity package for the Babylon Editor Toolkit. The link to the toolkit is down in the description. This will take a few seconds when we import this. And there we are. Now note that we have this Babylon menu in top here with the scene exporter, which I'm going to drag over to this side. But this is the way we're going to export our game to Babylon.js. So we need to make a few modifications first. I need to change a few settings. So in the player settings, we need to set the color space from gamma to linear. And this will make sure the lighting is calculated correctly. Let's close this. I also need to make sure that on the lighting tab, the real time global illumination is turned off. Now to use WebVR in Unity, we need to add a component to the camera. We have this Babylon menu here. Let me go to System Components and select Camera Rig. Down in the bottom here. Let me open this so we have a little bit more space in the bottom. So we have this Experience Helper. If we check that box, this will enable WebVR in our export. And we can also enable the teleportation so we can walk around. So that's the camera. And I'm going to add a plane. And make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to give this a tag navigation. Navigation is what is used by default when using the teleportation to move around. Going to add a cube and add another one. So we have some orientation. I'm going to create a very simple material. I will call blue. If there's a blue color, I'm going to drop this on the ground. I'm going to create another material, which I will call red. Change the color to a red color. I'm going to add that to the two cubes. I need to check the main camera because the main camera seems to be not visible. Um, why is the camera not visible? There it is. I had gizmos turned off. So I like to place. The camera at view height and move this. Um, let's move it in the center of the world. Now we have two cubes with our main camera in the middle. Now we go to exporter and we just hit build and preview. It asks if you want to uh, export the current scene. We hit build. We can go to preview and this will open our world inside uh, the browser. We cannot do anything here because I haven't set up any movement. If we switch over to the Oculus Quest, you can see that it works with the controller and we can move around. So let's switch over to the Quest. As you can see, I've loaded the scene in the Oculus browser. Now when I hit the go into VR icon, you can see we are in the VR. I can see the controllers, and when I hit above, we can move around, and we can look around and we have both cubes in here. So this is how we have our very simple scene running in VR. As you can see, it's very easy to export your 3D scene to WebVR using Babylon.js. In a future video, we are going more into depth 
into what's possible with Unity and Babylon.js to run this on the web and see what we can do with TypeScript to customize things and to add some interaction. If you have any questions or if you have suggestions on what we should do in these videos, please leave a comment below the video. And if you like what you've just seen, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, hit that like button, and I will see you again on the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.